In this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a fabric bow, in particular this one right here, using your sewing machine. Let's get started. First, I'm going to lay my fabric out, and since my fabric doesn't really have a direction or any characters on it, I can cut my pattern with the fold still there. If you have a fabric that has characters or a direction, you may need to unfold to get a better placement of your pattern. This is a DIY pattern that I cut. It's just using a piece of paper that is 13 by 19 inches, and the opening is used when I do have patterns that require me to see what would be the front of the bow. So that opening is basically just where if I have characters or if there's something I really want to be at the front of the bow, I will put that in the middle here so you can see it on the left or right side because it'll be the actual front of the bow that you will be able to see once it is sewn together. And like I said, this is just a DIY pattern that I made. All you need is a piece of paper that is 13 by 9 inches and then I cut out the opening for the middle. Once I did that, I'm going to use these little pebbles as pattern weights to hold my pattern down. I like these because they're not too bulky so I can easily just cut with my rotary cutter and you can also cut your pattern out using scissors. So after I have them in place, I'm going to take my rotary cutter and cut my pattern out. No, you do not cut the opening center place, you just leave that alone. It's just used as a visual so that you can see if you have any characters or if there's something you really want to have on the front of the bow. So don't worry about that middle section, just go ahead and cut out your pattern. And this can be made to the size of your liking. This is just the size bow that I want. It's like a 5.5 um, inch bow. So it can be adjusted to be bigger or smaller, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to add my interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm gonna turn it over and take an interfacing that I've already cut off camera and it's 11 by seven inches. The rough side needs to be down and the smooth side needs to be up. Again, you need your fabric to be wrong side facing up. So the right side is facing down and then you're gonna have your interfacing on top of that rough side on the bottom, smooth side at the top. And then I'm just gonna take my iron. I don't roll it over the stabilizer, but I do sit it down and let it sit there for a couple seconds. Then I pick it up and I move it. And I repeat that until I get the whole entire piece done. Also, you'll know that your interfacing has fused to your fabric because it will no longer have little small dots on it. They will basically disappear and it'll let little streaks. So once I've done that, I'm going to also flip my fabric over so that the right side is facing up. And I'm just going to go over it with my iron just one good time to make sure that everything has been fused and my interfacing is adhering to my fabric. And all the interfacing is going to do is make my hair bow a little bit more firm. So I'm going to flip it back over because who needs fingerprints? Yes, it's still hot. And I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm doing this so that I can find the middle of my pattern. And once I have the corners touching, I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to iron down a seam so that, like I said, I can find the middle of my actual design or pattern. So this is me going over it with the iron just to force a seam there so I can see it. And now I'm going to open this back up. And then I'm going to find the middle seam and I'm going to fold the outer corner pieces like this in. So do both sides, the top and the bottom. And once I have it this way, I'm going to fold it in the opposite direction. So just fold it like this. And once I do that, I'm going to make sure those corners meet and I can find the middle here. So I'm going to iron another seam to make sure that I can find that middle piece as well. This is going to be important that you want to also iron this just in case because you're going to need it for like a, another step in the future. So just make sure that you're ironing down a seam here. And then I'm going to take these purple clips that I have and I am going to use three of them to clip down my open edge. And you can also use pins for this step, but I like to use the clips because um, I have a lot of space to work with, so I don't have to use a pin. Just gonna clip this down. 
And once I have it clipped, I am going to show you how to sew that open edge, this edge here. And just to be clear, it's this edge that is open. And I'm going to sew that on my sewing machine. Don't forget to do a back stitch when you start and also when you finish your actual stitch. And I'm just using a straight stitch here. And this is what it's going to look like. I can just cut that off in the future, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I did forget to show you guys how to do the middle strip. And I'm just going to show you here. The middle strip is cut to be the size 2.5 by 4. And I'm going to fold that in half. I don't really need to iron this because it's not really going to matter. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Being that this is a smaller piece of fabric, I'm going to use the straight pins to stick through. And those need to be closer to the folded side. So not the open side, but the folded side so that you can get it through your sewing machine. And I'm going to use two pins for this. And I did forget, well not forget, um, it's just going to be a straight stitch just like we just did for that last piece of fabric on that open edge. And I'm, I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to go do a straight stitch stitch on this open edge using my sewing machine and then i'll be right back once i do that this is what it's going to look like i'm going to take my scissors and cut off all of that excess fabric and excess thread excess excess the extra i'm gonna cut that off once i cut that off i'm going to take a safety pin I'm getting a little ahead of myself so let me wait for me I'm gonna take this safety pin and I'm going to open it and I'm gonna use it to basically turn it back the correct well turn it inside out um oh I, I forgot to mention whenever you put this together you need to put it together so that the right sides are facing each other so that way your seam is on the inside when I get ready to do this step so I'm just I always struggle with this always it never fails and then all of a sudden I get it correct I just got to figure out where I'm supposed to pull that I can never do it right the first time but anyway just gonna pull that pin through so that the right sides will be facing out and not on the inside like they are right now see eventually it just it just happens I just have to keep pulling and working with it and it happens and now I can take that pin out and make sure that I lay it flat so that that middle seam or the middle area that we just sewed together is in the middle on the back because it's not going to matter no one's not going to see it. it's just the middle strip for the bow now that i've done that i can go back to my other piece of fabric and finish putting my bow together so the next step is taking my scissors and i am going to cut off that extra fabric and string that is on there that you see me doing here and make sure you get as close as you can to that um, line, um, stitch without cutting it. So that's what I'm doing here. It's just cutting off the extra. And also don't forget to cut off the extra thread if you have any there. and open it up and you remember the seam that we well the yeah the seam that we basically put in it early with the iron you're going to use that to find your middle point and open it up this way and now that i have it open i am going to take and get a zip tie ready i got these zip ties out of the walmart automotive section they were a little bit cheaper than the zip ties that was in hardware so i just got those instead and they're the same exact thing and then these whatever you want to call them hair ties scrunchies rubber bands thingamabobs i'm going to take these and that's what i'm going to have as a way to secure the bow into your ponytail so now i'm going to take my fingers and with that middle section where the seam was at at the back I'm going to fold it and cause ridges and this is where you just play with it and make it look the way you want it to look and that's what I'm doing here it wouldn't be me if I didn't struggle with at least two things on this video first trying to get my middle strip or stripe to be on the right side using that pen and now I'm just struggling trying to figure out how I want the bow to actually look so just bear with me 
it does take a little bit of time if you're not familiar with it i just wanted to make sure it looked good for this video so that's what i'm doing here is fluffing out the sides making sure that it's even enough fabric on both sides and it looks pretty good to me so far but the next step is getting that zip tie on and making sure that it does not unravel and i don't have to readjust it so make sure the piece that is like the bigger piece is on the back and i'm going to slip the hair bow into place so that it's also on the back of the bow and then i'm going to take the end that needs to go through the little piece and i'm going to push that through and pull it as tight as i can any day now once i finish struggling and wrestling with this step don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll know when i post my next video if this video if you feel like it's a little too advanced and you need some basics i have a video on how to even set up your sewing machine as well as how to do something simple like a pillowcase and i will put those somewhere in this area so that you can see both video links now that i have my zip tie in place i can take my scissors and I'm going to cut off all of that extra because you don't need that. Don't cut your actual scrunchy thingamabob. Just cut off the excess of the zip tie. And now that middle strip that I made earlier, I can take that and I'm going to cover up the zip tie that's in the middle. So make sure that the little seam that is in the back and we're going to wrap it around where the zip tie is. And I'm just going to tie it in the back and tie it as tight as I can get it because no one's gonna see the back of the bow um, as well. It's just a little bit easier. You don't have to sew it. Just tie it. Once it's in place, I'm gonna adjust it, make sure it's covering the zip tie. And there you have it. Well, not yet. I'm gonna cut off these little strings that were bothering me. Now you have it. This is the bow. This is going to be how the back of it looks. And I'm just getting everything into place. This is how the back of the bow looks. And this is the hair bow. And this is what the front of the bow looks like. 